And we did see him fly in there and fly out of there because he almost hit us in his blue truck and he took off. That was on the Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. And we did see him fly in there and fly out of there because he almost hit us in his blue truck and he took off. That was on the Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. That was on Saturday morning. Fly in and fly out. Almost hit us. Saturday morning, she... How, how could he be... Wait a minute. I thought he was... I thought he was at the soccer event Saturday morning. Right. So at 2.22, is he on his way home or is he on his way there? 2.22, he'd have to... I would think he would have to be on his way home. Hmm. Um, he was supposed to be in Charleston. I mean, yeah, I, it was... I thought he spent the night the night before, but I might be mistaken. Was he ru was he rushing out of the house because she went to Dick's Pond? Wow. Because that's when she would have been at Dick's Pond is the morning. Yeah. What time is she there? Eleven? Late late morning, yeah. And he always, you know, he said <clears throat> he said, um, Make sure they call me right away if she goes to a gun store. Well, you don't, it's really only just a few minute drive from where she was staying wow. to Dick's Pawn Shop. I got the whole route. It'll drop in chat for you guys. I recorded the whole route from her apartment to Dick's Pawn to, to every location, the gas station um, and then Lumber River State Park. Uh, it's not that far of a drive. So, so they wouldn't even know that she was probably going to Dick's Pond until she got there because if she's leaving the house, right. they, they're probably just getting ready to follow her to see where she went. It doesn't take but a few minutes to get to Dick's Pond, and by that time, we're reaching out to him, and that's why... Somebody well, would have you know, to whatever rush. it was, what you know, whatever it was, according to the neighbor, he took off like a bandit because he almost hit one of the neighbors. That's you know, that's what he said, flying in and flying out right. is what he says, right? So that's weird. Did he know that that's is that's what I'd be curious to ask him what time because I wonder if it's the same time period that she was at the pawn shop. Because yeah. maybe he was somewhere, got the information that she was at the pawn shop, had to stop home real quick and get the hell out. Because it's still another, uh, it's like a, to get to where that is, it's like a five, ten minute drive Wow. from, from his house. This guy did say Saturday. Uh, the Saturday before, he called mm -hmm. on the 1st of mm -hmm. May. Mm -hmm. The Saturday was the 27th. So how could he be there that morning then? If, right. if the... So he had somebody take his truck. Remember, the blue truck is the issue because he mentions the blue truck. So the the whole alibi has been wrapped around this blue truck being taken. A picture has been taken. Yeah. 222. Yeah. Um, yeah. CJ's right. It blows the whole alibi out of the water. Yeah. From the very beginning, the alibi was he spent the night in Charleston on the 26th. Somebody just said it. Steph just said it. And came back on the 27th. 222 was picked up on the highway. Right. Okay. So that it blows his alibi away, his point. That's, yeah, that's this really nine, the 911 call blows the alibi because the 911 call shows the alibi of JP actually being at his house when he was supposed to be in another location. Oh, well, absolutely. Somebody probably was helping him. I mean, that goes without saying. But, oh, yeah, Whoa. we've always thought that. His right, alibi is right, like blown. Oh, yeah. And and it was blown already by his dad because initially it was also that he was supposed to be spending the night out there and he was with a woman. We all thought it was Susie. 
And then the father turns around and goes, oh, no, he wasn't with a woman. <laughs> the story keeps changing. Yo. This 911 call, this 911 call is going to open up so many more things. None of us have seen any verification of him being at anything. Any he said he was at a gas station, a restaurant. We've seen nothing to date. Steph has a great comment right here. I have see. seen no evidence of him in Charleston, assuming FBI has it evidence whether his alibi is verified or not. Right on, Steph. Right on. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're trying to say. Right. Right on. And when I say his son, I'm not talking about the son that's on the soccer team. Duh. He can't drive <laughs> the truck. <laughs> <laughs> no, his oldest son looks like uh, that's a the spinning son image of him. Right. And you're yeah. going to tell me with his, like, seriously, and you put a, a backwards hat on him. He looks damn near just like JP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see them pulling that off. I don't think his alibi is good, Mystic Moon. No. From this 911 call, this neighbor's putting JP at the house Saturday morning. Right. <clears throat> I think his alibi is blown with this 911 call. I oh, think. yeah. Oh yeah. This this neighbor putting him at the house uh Saturday morning. I would love to find out what time Saturday morning this guy was meaning cuz it does I mean, can you imagine if it was like you know, 10, 11 in the morning yeah. that all this took place? Right? Uh, no, That's, so uh That puts you right next to Micah. I could see dude being like, "Hey Billy, do me a favor." drive the truck so it creates my alibi yeah 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 <laughs> like <laughs> i can see him doing that all yeah, right so that's, that's, that's more pliable i see that right i can see him going dude guess what it's a perfect idea you take the truck there's my alibi yeah that, that's <laughs> i'm <more> scot free <laughs> right i can see him doing that right on. uh it was jp miller's location april 26th to the 27th the investigation revealed on friday april 26th john paul miller traveled to south charleston south carolina for a sporting event this information was substantiated by eyewitnesses license plate readers identified his truck traveling towards South Carolina eyewitness statements obtained by detectives confirmed John Paul Miller stayed overnight license plate reader I didn't returning to Myrtle Beach there at 222 his alibi's blown totally blown his alibi is blown wow 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 the 911 call blew his alibi up yeah oh my goodness Oh my, uh, CJ, is there any way you can send that to me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm going to rip him apart. In a nice way. Mythical, so, I'll make sure that they look into it. I'll put it together all in one little package for them with a bow on it. Yeah, that alibi is blown. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's messed up. That's messed up. The reason that it's blown stuff is because the 911 caller said that JP Saturday morning almost hit them because yep. he pulled in real quick and pulled out real quick. Yeah. And said it was JP. If right. JP is so this is why it's blown. Mm -hmm. If JP was staying overnight in Charleston, South Carolina on Friday and wasn't seen coming back until 2.22 in the afternoon then how in the hell could jp put a bit could have been there saturday morning according to the 911 caller and almost hit him mm. Mm -mm -mm. and i would think the neighbor would recall that because of almost getting hit look at the you know? times and dates mm -hmm. look at the times and dates carefully april 26th uh, April 26, license plate readers identified John Paul Miller's truck traveling towards South Carolina. There you Charleston. go. <clears throat> That's the day before. That's the Friday. Yeah. Eyewitness statement said that he stayed overnight. 
license plate reader identified John Paul Miller returning to Myrtle Beach. Truck was last captured by license plate reader on Highway 17 bypass in Horror County at, in South Carolina at 2.22 p.m. on Saturday, April 27th. While traveling to and from Charleston, South Carolina, John Paul Miller was accompanied by other individuals. So if the 911 caller is saying that on Saturday, which would have been April 27th, because the call came in on 5-1. If he's saying Saturday, Saturday was the 27th, how in the heck can JP, according to the 911 caller, be at his house... Right. And almost hit them. Yeah. Yeah. It'll absolutely create reasonable doubt. And not only that, now it actually not only puts in question JP's alibi, but Robeson County's investigation. And who's the witnesses? Well, you know what? The three-letter agencies are looking at Robeson County now. Especially... They yeah. They better be after this 911 call. Yeah, well, they're already there, but I think they have to be. Arrested. Yeah. I mean, if they, they don't know already, I would assume that they do. Oh, they but have maybe to. It would, it, but if they already know it, let's put it this way if they already know it and we give it to them again, it puts pressure on them. Yeah. And they need to have pressure put on them. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's what's important. So, yeah, this, this alibi is gone. I'm going to show you again what the neighbor said of the events that took place on saturday morning 4 27 2024 and they couldn't have taken place according to jp's alibi because he wasn't there we did see him flying there and fly out of there because he almost hit us in his blue truck and he took off that was on saturday morning boom the call was made on 5 1 2024. Saturday would have been 4 27 2024. How in the hell can he be at two places at once? Because that, that DeLorean he got, it don't fly. <laughs> 